heartland theory just write the context uh, before heartland theory uh, or was given there was a debate that the uh, geopolitical struggles uh, geopolitical uh, struggle has been the struggle uh, between the land power and the uh, sea uh, power alfred mahan a l f r e d alfred mahan mentioned that mentioned uh, that it is uh, the sea power that can emerge victorious that can emerge uh, victorious because it is the sea power that can emerge victorious uh, because a sea power has access to a coastal trade it has a power access to a coastal uh, trade so sir alfred mahan mentioned that it is the sea power that can emerge victorious because the sea power has access to the uh, coastal uh, trade uh, this was countered by this was uh, countered by a uh, sir halford mackinder who gave importance to the land power who gave importance to the uh, land power okay so mackinder said that no it is the land power that will uh, win okay so this is the context the context in which uh, sir halford mackinder is uh, giving the uh, theory now mackinder's ideas mackinder's ideas were given in three version the first version was uh, 1904 uh, the name of the book is the name of the book is a uh, geographical pivot uh, to history geographical pivot to history the second is 19 and 19 the name of the book is democratic ideals democratic ideals and reality democratic ideals and reality this is also book and the fourth third is uh, a paper in 1943 a paper was published the name of the paper is the around world and winning of peace so teen version mein apne apni theory di hai a pehle version mein he will talk about pivot second version mein he will talk about heartland and the third version mein he will talk about a new concept called as midland basin first version he talks about the concept called as a pivot the second version may he talks about the concept called as hard land the main theory and the third version may he talks about a new concept called as midland basin what is a midland basin we will see all that okay just know that he is given three versions of his uh, theory so first version that is 1904 the first version the context context kis context mein theory di thi sea power versus land power who will win what is the sea power sea power is a nation who has developed their navies they are in the age of exploration okay in 1904 uh, what is he saying in 1904 he says that uh, till late 19th century uh, till late uh, 19th uh, century uh, the sea power had advantage but but uh, now uh, the land powers now the land powers are uh, picking up it says that till the late 19th century uh, the uh, sea power had advantage now the land power is picking up uh, the colombian age uh, the colombian age of the sea power and the influence of britain is reducing he says that the colombian age of sea power and the influence of british is reducing uh, since a late 19th century aisa kya hua tha late 1800s mein the two nations were coming up he doesn't say it explicitly 
कि दो नए नेशन आए हैं जर्मनी आया यूनिफिकेशन हुआ ये एक्सप्लिसिटली नहीं कह रहे बस इतना कह रहे हैं कि लेट नाइनटीन सेंचुरी पे सी पावर का इन्फ्लुएंस अब कम होगा और अब लैंड पावर का इन्फ्लुएंस बढ़ेगा He uh, divided the world into uh, two major parts. Into two major uh, parts. So, he divided the world into two major parts. So, he divided the world into two major parts. So, he divided the world into two major parts. So, he divided the world into two major parts. The first part he calls as the world island. One part he calls as the world island. What is this world island? He says that. This world islands basically includes uh, Eurasia. Eurasia is a world island. Why? Because Eurasia has seventy-five percent of a uh, world's resources. Seventy-five percent of the world resource, and it has nearly eighty-eight percent of a uh, world's population. So now he's dividing the world. He says that world me a major island here. That is called as World Island. This World Island is Eurasia. This Eurasia has seventy-five percent of the world population, uh, so seventy-five percent of the world resource and eighty-eight percent of the world population. And therefore, it is it is very important. Therefore, it is very important. And the other part, he says that the rest part, he just called them as others. He says that two part of world ki ek hai World Island. That is your Eurasia. That has major population resources, and the other part he just says that others, uh, which includes what uh, the other continents: North America, South America, Africa, Australia, and uh, some islands of uh, Eurasia. That is Japan and uh, UK. So he says that world island here, the Eurasian region, the land-based region, that is the most important uh, region. and he did not give much importance to this region he said that these regions are not important north america south america australia they are not important why bahut dur hai from the land and they have very less population so they are not as important so he's first he's giving lot of importance to whom to your eurasian region eurasia is a land based region this is the broad division that he does the second division that he does is uh, he uh, further divides Uh, the world and the world island he further divides the world and the world island into if fir se divide karte hai world or world island ko he says that the world and the world island into the a uh, private area the private area inner uh, crescent or the marginal crescent and the outer uh, crescent and the outer crescent so he is dividing the world and the world island into the private area inner crescent and the outer uh, crescent in the private area this is the major land area the major uh, land uh, area and it extends from east of uh, river volga east of uh, river volga uh, to siberia ye pura land power hai it is extending from east of river volga uh, to siberia yes uh, this is basically the region of russia uh, this is basically the region of uh, russia and the russian steppes he says that world island or world teen hisson mein divided hai the major is the private area it is the major land area it is extending east of river volga to siberia and it is the region of russia and the russian steppes he says that it is a secured place it is a secured area it is a secured area and it is basically secured by it is a secured area and it is secured by mountains on west east and south it is a secured area it is secured by the mountains on the west east and the uh, south and it is secured by frozen a frozen and cold arctic ocean in the north it is private area sabse major land area hai aur ye land area is actually secured it is secured from the mountains in the in the south west and east and in the north it is secured by the arctic ocean 
तो ये इतना बड़ा लैंड पावर है और ये इतना सिक्योर्ड है सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस फिगर दिस इज द मैप ऑफ रशिया ही सेइंग प्राइवेट एरिया क्या है ही फर्स्टली सेज पूरे वर्ल्ड में पूरे वर्ल्ड में ही सेज वन रीजन दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज योर यूरेशिया ही सेज दिस रीजन इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड रेस्ट ऑल द रीजन दीज 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 आर नॉट एज इंपॉर्टेंट इसमें भी ही सेज दैट ये वाला जो एरिया है द प्राइवेट एरिया इट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट और वाई दिस इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज अ लैंड बेस्ड एरिया so if you look at and he says that this is protected from the north by the arctic ocean major land area flat area very good agricultural resources very good oil based coal based region and they don't need anybody this is a major area and it is a secured area how it is a secured area why because it says that if you look at this region it is secured by the mountains like uh, kolima mountains how it is extending it is extending from river volga ye aapki volga okay uh, from the east of the volga it is extending this is the private area and to up to what to up to this siberian region or uh, to up to this uh, siberian region so he says from the east of the volga up to siberia this is the private area it is protected it is protected by the mountains where everywhere niche is that is your kolima mountains you have stanovo mountains you have वाबनो रेंज सयान माउंटेन्स यू हैव यूराल माउंटेन्स सो इट इज एंटायरली प्रोटेक्टेड बाय दी माउंटेन्स इन दी वेस्ट इन द साउथ इन दी ईस्ट एंड इट इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय दी फ्रोजन आर्टिक ओशन इन दी नॉर्थ सो दिस इज अ मेजर लैंड एरिया इट हैज रिसोर्सेस इट इज प्रोटेक्टेड एंड दिस एरिया इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल एरिया उनको किसी की जरूरत ही नहीं they have resources it is protected you cannot uh, you cannot buy you cannot come into their territory so if somebody has this area they become very powerful and ultimately they will emerge as victorious that's what his theory is that's i'm just building his theory for now he says that the world has been divided the world and the world island what is world island the region of eurasia eurasia ko bhi wo divide kar rahe into three major parts that or i should i say two major parts or one is the private area what is private area the region of the uh, russia so he is dividing the world and the world island into a private area private area a major land area extending from the river volga to the siberian region it is the region of russia and the russian uh, steppe uh, this private area is a secured area it is secured by the mountains on the west east and south it is secured by the arctic ocean in the north and for your convenience you can write the names of some of the mountains like uh, ural mountains altai mountains stanovo mountains etc ural altai uh, stanovo uh, uh, private area means uh, russia uh, yes i'm just building the theory that the world and the world island is divided into private area uh, then he says all of you clear with what is a private area now he says that the second division of the world is inner crescent or the uh, marginal crescent now what is there in the inner crescent or the marginal crescent the inner crescent basically it is a arc like arc like region a uh, surrounding it is a arc like region a uh, surrounding the a uh, private area it is a arc like region surrounding the private area so pe pehle private area hai uske baad ek arc based region hai that surround the private uh, area okay so basically uh, these are the locations uh, where uh, the uh, drainage the uh, drainage is on the navigable seas तो इनका जो ड्रेनेज है इनका जो रिवर सिस्टम है वो सीज में जाके गिरता है बाल्टिक सी में या ब्लैक सी में तो दैट इज द रीजन अ सराउंडिंग रीजन अ सराउंडिंग आर्क रीजन वेर देर इज ड्रेनेज इज इन दी नेविगेबल सीज राइट एंड ही कॉल्स दिस एज द इनर क्रेसेंट और दी मार्जिनल क्रेसेंट दैट इज द सेकेंड पार्ट द थर्ड पार्ट इज योर आउटर क्रेसेंट आउटर क्रेसेंट 
and what is there in the outer crust uh, rest all the continents your north america south america africa australia and islands like and islands like japan and uk okay ha huh. and the world the division of the world island and the world entire right world island basically two parts are uh, the inner crescent and the pivot area and the rest of the world is your outer uh, crescent so basically if i tell you one thing if i say that ye uska world division eurasia kiska part hai ye dono eurasia ka part hai eurasia ko wo kya keh raha hai world island aur baki jo baki part hai which is not important they are part of the outer uh, crescent is it fine uh, regions of the inner crescent in the regions of inner crescent you will have you will have uh, spain uh, portugal you will have uh, greece okay these are the regions of the inner uh, crescent are they part of europe yes are they part of eurasia yes kya ye land based hai no are these two part of world islands yes what is world island eurasia okay uh, this is the world map now uh, where is the pivot area uh, let's say this is the uh, pivot area okay this is the uh, pivot area what is the inner crescent the inner crescent is uh, this region not uk okay uh, this region is your inner crescent arc like region uh, okay the arc like region uh, this is the inner uh, crescent what is the outer crescent north america south america africa australia these are the outer crescent and your uk okay this is the uk one and japan okay why uk and japan to give us sea powers hai. and it is he wants to exclude them he want to exclude them to as low power as he can okay so basically he say the winning would be of the of the pivot area so what is a world island world island mein kya hai entire eurasia but he is not including uk and japan he says entire eurasia where there is 75% of the world resorts there is 88% of the world population so the, and what is world island this is the region of eurasia all of you clear with the word world island pivot area outer crescent inner crescent 